We've been waiting for you, Miss O'Neill. I deliver a message. Like and subscribe. <laughs>
All right. So looking at the accessories, you'll probably recognize a few of these from the movie itself. First off, you have this really nice looking handbag, which of course is April's weapon of choice. All right. That's it. I really do like the paint on here. The paint on here is really, really great. I feel like the one that April was carrying in the movie, at least in the subway scene, was not like this one. I believe it was just brown, or it might have been because the movie was dark. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, it, it's got a really great overall look to it, and the design work on here is excellent. I believe it's made with a little bit of a softer plastic, uh, but you can sort of open it. It doesn't open that easily. But if you wanted to display April with the sigh hanging out of the purse, I believe you can. Next up, we have April's microphone. April is a reporter, so of course she's going to have a microphone. I don't know if she'd be carrying it everywhere she goes. But uh, anyways, here it is. Uh, this one here it just is made out of plastic and it is painted silver. There is a cube sign just right underneath that's painted in blue uh, with number three on it. And of course it has this, it's weird, it has this cutoff cable. Um, the, the cable is made out of plastic and it's not too long, but it's long enough that you can display April with it and not have the cutoff end in the shot. At first I thought these were a stack of VHS tapes, uh, but they are actually pizzas. And I see that now by looking at the top of it and it is square, but for some reason, I feel like these are way too small. I feel like pizza boxes should be bigger. Maybe they're really, they're like small pizzas, but if you're buying pizza for four turtles, I figured they'd be larges, but I digress. They look pretty good. I mean, they have really nice designs on there and it's a really small print. So they did a really great job on here. I guess the smaller boxes could be like single slice boxes. Um, I don't really get those where, where I live. Like we don't really sell them by the slice. We usually sell the whole pizza, but of course I'm sure other places do sell them just by the slice in boxes. And then you get this really great head sculpt, uh, replacement head sculpt uh, of Judith Hogue. Did a really great job on here. Like, um, Comparing this head sculpt to a whole lot of the other head sculpts that I've seen in this line, uh, this one is really detailed. Uh, the eyes are a bit funny, but otherwise the paintwork is really nice. Uh, it's got a lot of little delicate touches on there, and uh, I did I do think they overall did a great job trying to recreate her look from the movie. I think it's a great choice having multiple colors, maybe one or you know one or two extra colors on the hair. Uh, that way it's just not just a straight brown and it just looks like a big chunk of plastic. I think it really does add to the look and it makes it resemble the actual actress a whole lot better. This head sculpt is of course her smiley face head sculpt whereas the other one's kind of like a stoic look. And then here we have Raphael's sigh that he had dropped and April had nicely picked up for him. Um, I guess it wasn't for him but anyways looks really neat has black paint on the handle and the guards and also has just silver paint just right down the point. There's nothing much to it, uh, but it does look really good. As mentioned before, if you wanted to display April with her handbag, with the side kind of like hanging out of it, you can do that because you can insert it just into the opening of the bag. Something I wish a lot of the Necro Turtles came with is a stand, and April does have a stand. Uh, now, my Leonardo had fallen off of my shelf a couple of times. Uh, maybe it's because the way I have him posed, maybe it was kind of not really balanced properly, and he had fallen off the shelf, and I had broken uh, one of his katana. And the funny thing is, I have a quarter scale version of Leonardo as well, which did exactly the same thing. So, if anything, I wish they had stands, and it's kind of nice to see that this figure does come with one. And again, there's nothing much to it, just a plastic black circle uh, with a little peg that you can insert into her feet, or one of her feet. 
Last but not least, we have a few of our hand switchouts. There are four of them, and they each are pretty much different sculpts. Each one of them has a purpose, and uh, yeah, they look pretty good. I do notice that April does have a ring on her thumb. It's a nice touch. I don't know how accurate it is because I don't really look at her hands when I'm watching the movie or anything, but uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. It probably is somewhat accurate. For their size, they're actually sculpted really nicely and they're painted really nicely. So yeah, that's great. All right, so let's uh, let's do a little turnaround uh, in just a bit. Uh, we'll do that and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. Right, so taking a closer look at April here. Uh, now this is the other head sculpt, and this is kind of like her plain look, uh, or her stoic look, uh, or you know her just meh look. But anyways, it, it looks really good. Still looks like the actress Judith Hogue. And again, you have that nice texturing on the hair, a nice great paintwork on the face itself. You can move her head left and right. Our hair sort of gets in the way, but not really. She can't look up, but she can look down. It's kind of neat. She has this kind of silver brooch here. Looks a bit larger than how it looked like in the movie, but that's kind of nitpicky. Her shirt does look like the one in the movie. Um, just a bit simplified. Again, nitpicky. Still, they did a great job making it look like a loose shirt uh, because it does have the kind of like the wrinkles and the folds in the arms. She has a softer plastic brown vest on as well. That's open in the front. The vest has some mock stitching and there's also some creases on the back. There's also a bit of weathering on here, like it's darker in the, the center of the back. She does have a bit of a waist twist. It is tight. Uh, but you can turn her a bit around. Checking her articulation of the arms, uh, you can pull her arms up. Uh, it's really tight, so you have to put a little pressure on it. You can, of course, bend the elbow. And then there is a rotation of the arm just right at the shoulder. Looks like there is a twist also just right at the forearm. And you can bend her elbow all the way up to her face. Well, sort of. It doesn't really hold a pose that far, but I don't think that's really that bad by any means. There is a twist at the wrist. Taking a look at this soft plastic skirt. Looks really neat. Uh, design is sort of good. Um, kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies, but still. Really nice paintwork on here. Nice uh, sculpting because it does look like it is creased. I do want to mention the back of the knees look sort of horrible. Now, not only does it look like it's kind of cracked. Uh, this is straight out of the box, by the way. Uh, it looks like it's kind of cracked. Um, and not only that, I guess, I don't know if they forgot to paint the joints or it just is always like that. Um, yeah, it looks pretty bad. I mean, I'm not going to pose her that much like when she's turned around, but still. It's kind of the same with the back of her ankles too, which is unfortunate. Anyways, her legs are painted brown uh, just so it simulates the look of stockings. And she's got red shoes on. I don't know if you see that as well, but there's like a scratch on one of her ankles. Again, this is straight out of the box. It's very unfortunate that um, although the figure looks great, uh, there are little weird inconsistencies in this product. I also noticed a little paint rub there, uh, just right on her calf. Moving on, let's check her leg articulation. Now, it's got a double bend, obviously, here. 
Uh, it looks like you can bend it back pretty far. Um, sort of. Yeah, there we go. So you can get, get her leg bent all the way back if you really needed to. Again, you have to be very careful with that joint. You don't want any paint uh, falling off or anything. Um, she doesn't have any rocker for her feet. Um, but you can bend her foot forward and backwards. So that's not too bad in terms of articulation. All right, so now that I've finished with my closer look at this figure, um, there are some things that I've noticed that I do like, and there are some things that I don't like. We're going to do one more thing, and then uh, we'll wrap up this video with some comparison shots, and at the same time, I'll mention what I don't like and what I do like about this figure. The last thing to do is just switch out this head sculpt, so I'm just going to give it a little tug, and it should just pop off. And then you just grab the other head sculpt and you can just align it and just push it on there. And voila, it looks really nice. There you go. Now you have Smiley April. So that's pretty simple. Not too shabby. All right. So first off, here's April herself with holding her handbag with a sigh in it. Looks pretty neat. Uh, I do like the way this figure looks overall. I think they did a really great job recreating the character from the movie into a figure form, which NECA really excels in, obviously. It's really nice to have, finally, in April O'Neil, I can pose alongside my collection of NECA turtles. I've had the NECA turtles for quite a while now, and uh, I've got them alongside uh, like Shredder and Toka, Razor, uh, Super Shredder. And I don't have a splinter yet. I have a foot soldier, but I haven't opened him yet. But uh, April is obviously one of the characters that I've wanted to have for a while. And it's great that NECA had released the Ultimate Edition of April. She looks really good alongside the turtles. There's a lot of neat display options that you can have uh, with her individually with each individual turtle. Or with them as a group. I do want to mention the things that I don't like first before I mention the things I like, which I usually do. Obviously, the things I don't like are, um, there's, like, examples I have shown, uh, there's some inconsistencies. And this kind of goes across a lot of the NECA product, where, you know, the QC just isn't there sometimes. And there's a lot of parts like paint rubs and things that aren't painted properly, um, things like that that uh, are kind of annoying. I mean, they're they're not that bad sometimes, but sometimes they are. And I'm kind of lucky that, you know, the most of the things that I have noticed are small or they're on some parts that won't be shown as much, like on the back of the ankles. Uh, but I kind of fear the ones that do show up on, let's say, the front of the body. And I have heard of examples where, you know, there are paint rubs on the front. Um, and you know, it's few and far between, but you can just kind of have to watch out for that. Something I didn't mention during the course of this video until now is the pain in the butt. It was just to get her to me. I live in Canada and it was an international order. And, uh, the way NEC, the NECA store is set up is they have, um, certain products that they can sell to the U S and then there's ones that are classified as international ones, which include Canada. And, um, the shipping here was kind of, it was pain in the butt. Um, I will mention this in a future video cause I will be reviewing, uh, some more NECA items, but for now, just keep that in mind. Um, if you, let's say live in Canada or internationally, it, it may not be as simple as uh, getting the NECA item shipped from the NECA store to the States. Uh, but again, I'll mention that again later. What I do want to stress is what I do like. I do like the way NECA does their research and their homework into trying to make their product as accurate as possible. This is a good example. I mean, this April O'Neil does look, in my opinion, does look like Judith Hogue. And uh, it from far away it looks it really does look like her and she does match the turtles very well the long and the short of it is she looks really great in action figure form her accessories are adequate it's exactly what you need you don't 
need a whole lot of accessories for her and NECA gave her gave you pretty much what you need. The inclusion of a stand is a plus. Uh, I have no issues standing her up. And overall, I feel that uh, if you're looking for an April O'Neil figure, this is what you get. It's not like you're like, oh, I want more out of this figure. It's exactly what you need. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Do me a favor and leave a like on this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'll have future NECA product uh, reviews and unboxings very soon. As Actually, I have a stack of them uh, just hanging out here. And I just need to find the time to get through them. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? 107. A new record.